we've, we've had this uh, facility since uh, the mid-1960s. Um, 1964, I believe, is when it was installed. And it, it's still in tip-top shape. There are about a dozen planetaria still in the state of Ohio. At one point, back in the 1960s, there were more than 200. So we have been very blessed to keep ours running uh, all these years. I've been here for 17 years, uh, working in the planetarium, teaching astronomy. Uh, it's a year-long science class, and we start out learning about uh, the stars and the constellations and learning to recognize things up in the sky. And then we, we do a, a long segment of astrophysics, which is learning about how stars operate and galaxies and cosmology and things like that. And then we end our, our year with uh, the solar system. I think it really exposes uh, the kids to um, the, the aspects of how science is done. That's really one of my big goals for the class. I'm not trying to make professional astronomers out of anybody. But I want the, the students to be able to uh, see how uh, professional scientists gather and interpret the data, how they extract their understanding from uh, that data. So we do a lot of authentic labs using real astronomical data and images that the, the kids have to go through and they have to, to do that same process and extract meaning from these images. I think that Space is, uh, no pun intended, it is universally uh, fun to learn about. I mean, there, there are things out there that are absolutely beautiful and just concepts that, that just blow you away when it comes to size and distance and how things like time operate. It's a lot of fun. <music>